this suit is ridiculously intuitive, by the way, so if anything, it's kind of your fault that I'm here. If anything, it's kind of your fault that I'm here. In less than a week, Avengers Endgame will be released in theaters. For many, it is their most anticipated movie of 2019, and that for good reason. The film brings a close to the first 11 years of movies from the Marvel Cinematic Universe, rightfully titled The Infinity Saga. So let's take a look back at its prequel, Avengers Infinity War. When I first saw this movie, I was blown away. I didn't see that ending coming, I thought Thanos would get a few stones and kill a few characters, but he did way more. The opening scene alone shocked me to my core. Loki died and for real this time. Thanos bet the Hulk in one on one combat and Thor was obviously defeated, even though I thought Ragnarok made him too powerful. Seriously, this movie got so many things right. The Russo brothers, Christopher Marcus and Stephen McFeely made an event. Avengers Endgame is more than a movie, it's a worldwide event. People talk about how the original Star Wars movie was an event because of how it changed generations and movies overall. Avengers Endgame is the same. We are all so damn lucky to be alive to witness something of this scale, something this big in media. Infinity War was as well, 20 plus characters were all on screen, they were consistent with how the previous movies had handled them, and a majority of them get significant character development. Tony comes face to face with what he's been fearing since the end of the first Avengers. Captain America is finally broken. After years of standing back up, Captain America has his spirit broken. Thor has to deal with the aftermath of the events of Ragnarok, losing his brother and his best friend. I could go on, but every character plays a role no matter how small. I love how the filmmakers opted for a handheld camera for so many of the scenes, especially the decimation. It really evolves each scene and character moments into something that audiences can really feel. The choreography and action scenes are great. The film avoids showing how Black Panther is essentially invulnerable in his suit, it causes each hero to use their abilities and work together, and Thanos throws a planet! Oh my god! The Infinity Stones are used so well, and their effects are subtly shown. Reality can't be permanently altered, and only one stone is used at a time. Speaking of Thanos, he is the best villain in the MCU. He goes from a strong bad guy to a sympathetic villain who has a twisted view of the world he thinks he's saving. He has his own horsemen, he preaches and enforces, he comes off as a religious cult leader. The Mad Titan is more than an extremist leader, he loves people. He's affected when Ebony Moore is revealed to be dead, and he is most obviously devastated when he has to sacrifice his Gamora. A feat he even complimented Peter Quill on trying to do. Underneath his mighty facade is a form of humanity, as twisted as it may be. Thanos is doing what he deems necessary. He is the only one with the will to do it. He is cursed with knowledge. Knowledge which he believes can make the universe grateful, no matter his personal loss, no matter if it had cost him everything. I could continue on for hours about this movie, and I probably will after Endgame comes out and has an effect on how we view Infinity War. This movie is amazing with very few flaws. It has one of my personal favorite cinema going experiences in Thor's entrance in Wakanda. But it also has some forced jokes such as that with the Cauldron of Cosmos and the superhero serial, but the characters bounce off one another with such ease and the film balances them all while delivering genuine heartfelt character moments. It is a near perfect movie. There is no better way to set up the final installment in the saga than to have the heroes reach their lowest point, craft a sympathetic villain who succeeds and creates so much anticipation for the resolution, for the endgame.